Huey needs Ari and Zade's help. Turns out, his house is haunted. It looks like we've got ourselves a mystery, gang. There is figurative language all over the house making weird things happen. Figurative language, hyperbole, onomatopoeia, personification. Figurative language, also known as a figure of speech, is a word or phrase that does not have the exact meaning of the words written. As the reader, your job is to determine what the expression literally or actually means, so you understand what the author is trying to say. There are many different types of figurative language. Today, we are going to focus on hyperbole, onomatopoeia, and personification. First, Huey shares the hyperbole that he heard in the living room along with a picture he found. Hyperbole is an exaggeration that is so dramatic, no one will believe the statement to be true. Huey heard, I used to walk 15 miles to school during a blizzard. Do the words mean exactly what they say? No. Walking that far during a blizzard would be difficult and dangerous. And we can see the school is close by. What is the literal meaning of the phrase? The note is explaining walking to school every day was hard, using hyperbole to compare how their experience of getting to school was more difficult than another, using a dramatic exaggeration about the distance and weather. But who or what said it? Next, Huey shares the noise he heard in the kitchen by illustrating it using onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is a word that sounds like the noise it describes. When Huey was in the kitchen, he heard a crash and bang. Does that mean Huey heard someone say crash and bang? <laughs> no, Huey did not hear someone say crash and bang. That wouldn't make any sense. What's the literal meaning of the phrase? Huey is using onomatopoeia to describe the sounds he heard in the kitchen. Last, Huey showed the gang a cookie and a medicine bottle with a note that used personification. Personification is when human characteristics are given to an object or animal. It says, these are my anti-flatulence pills because I like cookies, but they don't like me. Do the words mean exactly what they say? <laughs> no, cookies don't have feelings. That wouldn't make any sense. What is the literal meaning of the phrase? It means whoever wrote it has to take medicine sometimes because cookies upset their stomach. But who wrote it? Before we find out, let's summarize. Remember, there are many different types of figurative language. As the reader, your job is to determine what the expression literally or actually means, so you understand what the author is trying to say. First ask, do the words mean exactly what they say? Second, explain the literal meaning of the phrase in your own words. Good news, Huey. We figured out what or who is behind all the mysterious events. There's just one problem. She said she's your grandma and you invited her to come visit. And she's a little upset that you forgot again. Zoinks! Looks like another mystery has been solved. Great job, gang. 